The first page you see after signing into Onshape is the Documents page. This is where you manage all your documents. To open a document, left click on the document name or double click anywhere within the highlighted area. A document is not a CAD file. A document can contain any type of information related to one or more projects, such as assemblies, subassemblies, parts, drawings, imported parts, and any other project related data, such as PDFs, images, and videos. Documents keep all your data together in one place to make projects easier for you to manage. Click the Onshape logo in the top left corner to return to the Documents page at any time. Down the left hand side of the page are your document filters. When the My Onshape filter is active, every document you have access to is listed and divided into three sections. Documents last opened by you makes it easy to find and open a document so you can carry on where you left off. To open a document, left click the document name or double click the thumbnail image. This area can be collapsed or expanded if you wish. Folders can be used as one method of managing documents and will be discussed in a future video. Any other documents that are not in a folder are displayed at the bottom, with the most recently modified appearing at the top. This list includes all the documents you have access to. If you want to filter this list to show only documents created by you, shared with you, or recently opened, you can use the filters down the left. Each document listing shows you a thumbnail image, the document name and last opened workspace, any labels that have been added, when the document was last modified and by whom, and the document owner. Clicking a document will display more information in the details panel on the right, including a description and a detailed list of who the document has been shared with and their access permissions. Workspaces, labels and document sharing will be discussed in a future video. You can change the way documents are displayed by selecting the grid view icon in the top right corner. Each tile displays the exact same information but in a larger format to make it easier to browse your documents. You can see more information by clicking the icon in the bottom right corner of each tile, or you can display the details panel at the same time using the icons in the top right corner of the screen. Public documents are indicated by a globe icon. Documents created by users of the education plan are indicated by a small mortarboard icon. The filters down the left can also be used to show documents that have been shared with your team, documents that have been tagged with a label, and a trash area for documents you no longer need. These will be discussed in more detail in a future video. The public filter shows the thousands of public documents created by the Onshape community. At the top of the page is the document search field. Type in a partial name and press enter. Search will find documents, parts, assemblies and drawings, or any file that matches the name you typed in. This is displaying results for all the documents you have access to. If you only want to search documents that were created by you, click the filter first before entering a search term. Search has many advanced options and these will be covered in a future video. If you right click on a document, a menu appears allowing you to open, rename, copy, or trash that document. You can also select multiple documents at the same time by holding down either the control key on Windows or the command key on Mac, or the shift key to select many at once. The right click context menu now only allows you to set labels, move the documents to a folder, or send them to trash. In the top left corner, is the create button with four options. One to create a new document, one to upload either a 3D model from another CAD system or any other file types we saw earlier, one to create a new folder, and one to create a new label. Finally, in the top right corner, there are buttons to access the Onshape App Store for complementary applications such as rendering 
simulation and CAM, quick access to the Onshape Learning Center, and buttons to share or trash the currently selected document. There is also the Help menu, and then your Profile picture and Accounts Preferences menu. These last two options may look different depending upon which level of Onshape subscription you have and will be covered in a future video.